Let's talk football now. The Africa Cup of Nations, Simon Harding uh, bringing us uh, the very latest, of course. There's been an interesting development uh, and uh, on the pitch, but uh, sadly one off the pitch, which uh, is uh, preoccupying uh, news right now. A report of six people losing their lives in a stampede uh, at the stadium in Yaoundé. Uh, we'll be covering, of course, everything that's happened on the pitch uh, in our special programme uh, coming up in, in roughly half an hour's time. Let's uh, go to Simon live now for more on that uh, developing story about the stampede. Simon, I know it's difficult to gather information on this kind of story on the spot, but what can you tell us at this present moment in time? At the moment, very calm outside the stadium, uh, Mark. Uh, things uh, have been... Uh, the police were everywhere. We, we've seen a lot of uh, ambulances and uh, fire trucks going to and from uh, the the place where the stampede happened, which is believed to be the South Stand. Now, we were actually inside the stadium and uh, the stadium was at near capacity for the first time, 60,000 people at the Olympic ground. But um, Cameroonian authorities recently, anyone who didn't have a ticket and who lined up uh, outside could come in for free once all the tickets uh, or members of the public who had tickets were able to go inside. So that, that is uh, where we believe the stampede happened, where people were trying to enter the ground uh, for free to watch uh, Cameroon. Uh, there's been a lot of injury, a lot of injuries, uh, an unconfirmed amount of deaths. Uh, you put the number at six. That's the number that we've been given. Uh, but unfortunately and sadly, I think that we can expect that number to rise. In terms of uh, how these things happen, Simon, is that normal practice that at that point uh, in time when all the tickets have gone and all the seats have been taken to allow extra people into the ground? Is that kind of normal practice at the tournament? No, not at all, especially uh, what we would call, you know, more more traditional grounds and big grounds like this that we would have in Europe. The, the problem is, Mark, that the Africa Cup of Nations, because uh, of its location and prices, uh, caters to very few supporters. So to give the impression that stadiums aren't empty and to give an opportunity uh, to fans to see their team play, to see Cameroon play, uh, then, then uh, fans have been given that opportunity uh, to go and watch the game for free. It actually comes from a, a gesture uh, of goodwill and, and good faith from, from the Cameroonian FA, Cameroonian authorities. Unfortunately, uh, this time around, uh, uh, it uh, turns to a tragedy. Like I say, very first time in the tournament that the stadium was at full capacity. People were still pouring in uh, 15 minutes uh, after kickoff, and perhaps the authorities weren't uh, quite prepared for what happened. What I can tell you is when we exited the ground, Every uh, exit was blocked uh, and people were still uh, pressed up against fences and, and, and such, and including the France 2040. But uh, for now, people have uh, exited uh, the area around the stadium. And, and to be honest, there was very little signs that a stampede had actually happened, bar from the ambulances and the fire, the fire trucks uh, uh, running around the stadium. Simon, thank you very much indeed. Stay safe out there. Simon Harding, our correspondent. <clears throat> excuse me, at the Africa Cup of Nations, uh, bring us uh, a reflection on the ground of this incident where apparently, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry about that, six people losing their lives in a stampede. Uh, the word from the local hospital at uh, Masasi uh, says that they received at least 40 injured people from this incident. There's uh, a local uh, dignitary who's uh, quoted, uh, Masiri Paul Bia, governor of the central region of Cameroon, saying there could be more casualties. We'll bring you more, of course, uh, as we get it.